Welcome back, everybody. The search for a way to prevent or stop breast cancer continues. A recent study in the journal Cancer Prevention Research found that compounds in pomegranate fruit have an inhibitory effect on breast cancer cells. Here to talk more about the benefits of pomegranate is natural health care expert Mark Mincola. It's nice to see Great you. Great to be here. Thank you. Uh, you and I are just chatting about this. This is an amazing breakthrough. Who knew? T t first, talk to me just about the study itself. Well, really, we're talking about a logic acid, which is actually actually part of the French paradox, interestingly enough. They found it helpful for heart smart issues, mm -hmm. also for cancer and immunity. So they isolated 10 different cell lines with 10 different compounds from pomegranate. These are all elogic acid, antioxidant compounds. One in particular called urolithin B was found very powerful in an inhibitory sense against aromatase, which is the estrogen that fuels the cancer cells. Right. Wow. It's unbelievable. It's incredible. You know, we've been hearing all about pomegranate, you know, for a while now. It seems to be sort of the hot fruit. There's the juices and, and different kinds of recipes that are out there. But you're saying pomegranate really isn't the only one that, that came through in this study. Exactly. Well, there are 46 different fruits and nuts, Kim, that actually have a high level of the same elogic acid in them that pomegranate has. Mm -hmm. The real key to this particular study is, is we're finding that the aromatase, the aromatase is, again, the fuel, the estrogenic fuel that really makes this cancer grow sort of out of control, had an inhibitory effect when we exposed the pomegranates, a logic acid to this. But a logic acid is found in raspberries, black raspberries, strawberries. Those little seeds that are in those right. berries are loaded with a logic acid. Studies done at the University of South Carolina Medical School at Ohio State University previously showed very much the same kind of thing, that this logic acid in these seeds within certain fruits very very anti-cancerous. Well, the first thing I said to you was, I don't eat pomegranate and I don't drink the juice, and so I'm going to probably have to take a, some kind of diet supplement right. anyway, right? Because I can't get it through my diet. Well, not entirely true. Again, the researchers, for example, Dr. Richard Nixon, or not Richard Nixon, Daniel Nixon, down at the University of South Carolina, actually a medical school back in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, found that actually when you isolate these elogic acid cells with cancer lines from raspberries, three quarters of a cup of raspberries, you're able to neutralize cancer cells. So when you say three quarters of a cup, how often do I need to eat that? Well, they found that it had an immediate effect from moment to moment, day to day. So it's based on consumption. Obviously, if you want to have a consistent immune support response with this stuff, it's got to be more consistently consumed. Eat those fruits and vegetables, obviously, on an ongoing basis. Sure. But again, the point is, is that food has these very powerful antioxidant with great medicinal qualities that if we're consuming Assuming them on a regular routine basis, we're going to benefit from those. Yeah, because usually you end up having to take some kind of supplement. You can't get enough of something in your system just by eating it. That's ne not necessarily the case in, in this particular study, in this particular it's Exactly. And a lot of folks would think that you got to, like you said, concentrate the amount by mm -hmm. taking pills and drinking sure. inordinate amounts of juice. Not so. Really, we're talking about a serving. Three quarters of a cup isn't an awful lot. So a serving of these very powerful antioxidant-rich berries, and in this case pomegranate, really can make a big difference. Yeah, if you think about over the course of your day, you can easily get three quarters of a cup of some kind of berry in, you know, something in the morning on your cereal, well, a little exactly salad right. later in the day, and it, boom, it, you got it taken care of. Absolutely true. And, you know, the USDA has done similar studies over the years and found that the same is true with their studies of fruits and vegetables and even spices. Yeah. You know, spices like turmeric and right. cumin and these sort of spices are very powerful in their antioxidant response as well. It doesn't take a lot. We're talking about a quarter of a teaspoon of spice. We're talking about one serving of fruit, and each one sort of builds that immunity and has that very powerful effect. Sure, over a course of time. So, Mark, what are you talking about? Do we need to make sure that our little girls are eating like this right now and just getting that started? Or, you know, is it is a woman, if she starts really concentrating on this kind of eating in her 40s, is, is she okay? What, what do you it's think? It's a great question. I think, again, back to the USDA, they've, they've, the Department of Agriculture has well done these great studies saying that we're not getting enough fruits and vegetables. We're not getting that antioxidant support. So the real message here is we've really got to get the kids somehow, some way to eat more fruits and vegetables. Right. These fruits in particular are low and again, as we said, the pomegranate, the berries in particular, very loaded with these very powerful logic acid substances. Got to get them in the kids. Well, it just seems like if we get good eating habits young, we sort of stick with that for the rest of you our lives. You got it. Absolutely true. We can hope that's the case. If you would like to ask Mark some questions, you can visit his website. It is maxhealing.com. Just want to remind everybody very quickly that the Susan G. Susan G. Komen three-day uh, for a cure breast cancer walk coming up this weekend, Friday through Sunday. Thousands of women and men are going to be participating to raise money and awareness for breast cancer. Their website is the 3 dayorg If you'd like more information, please be sure you check that out. Mark, great to see you like great always. To see you. Thanks Thank for coming you so in much. to see us. We're going to check in with Cindy now.